Right, good uh, good afternoon everybody from the uh, oh, from the workshop again. Sorry, I was just tightening up my lathe, uh, not my lathe, my um, my vice. Um, you're there, opening shot of my face plate. Uh, the reason behind this is we're going to be using that today, or I'm going to be using that today. Because uh, what I want to do is, um, I want to do, um, I'm going to, a raggy old disc there. Okay, uh, look, I think it's um, off a, uh, a Renault Clio or something similar. Um, and I want to use that um, in one of my, um, in one of my upcycling sculptures. Um, and I can't really use it in the state it's in. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim it. Uh, skimming discs used to be quite common at one point, um, uh, about 10, 20 years ago. Um, in fact, possibly further back than that. Um, you know, discs used to be quite expensive. Uh, so when you've got a crappy disc like this, um, first thing that happened was you'd find uh, your local machine shop and they'd skim it for you or some garages actually had tools to do it um, so uh, it's not a difficult job it's a bit of a messy job but uh, anyway um, so nowadays uh, because with a disc like this is what about 12 pounds 12 pounds 50 15 tops um, so not a lot really cheap because um, they're chucked out in their thousands possibly a day um, in a factory so so they're very cheap so people don't bother to skim them anymore um, you know when they when they get uh, when they get beyond repair they just chuck them uh, and to me nothing is beyond repair I'll have a go at anything um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim this side I'm going to do this side first because we've got a nice flat surface there to mount it on the face plate mount it on the face plate we skim this side all the way in to the center and we'll turn it over and then we'll skim it all the way into there and up the sides yeah. um, and possibly we'll do this edge as well while we're at it um, so the first thing to do is get this mounted on here um, so we'll be using two bolt holes some some t-nuts t-nuts couple of bolts couple of washers and get it set up, get it centered because that's the thing on the on the surface plate is getting it centered and um, then we'll get it on the lathe. I've already got a tool set up the lathe, nice big carbide tool uh, on the lathe ready to rock and roll so uh, so we'll just um, get that mounted and um, then we'll stick it on the lathe and we'll see how it goes. That's uh, that mounted to the face plate so um, now We'll get the uh, the whole kink caboodle on the lathe. Okay, so as you can see, we've got it centered now. Um, everything's dialed in. So all we've got to do now is uh, one more thing, and that is um, cutting cast iron like this. It's a filthy job. Um, cast iron cuts all right, but it's just it, it makes just so much mess. So what I normally do. Is I get a cloth and I cover over the exposed parts of the lathe uh, so that the uh, the cast iron dust, if you like, doesn't go all over the place because it does. You'll see when we get going, it makes one hell of a mess. As you can see, there's a uh, there's a cloth draped over, so that should uh, help me collect some of the muck. So away we go. We'll do this edge first. <laughs> quite see what I might actually move the camera so you can get a better view of this because it's uh, you'll be able to see how much muck I'm making so uh, hang on and I'll just move things around a little okay let's move you a bit closer to the action all right let's uh, you'll notice I've repositioned the tool 
because we're not cutting the edge anymore now we're going to start cutting down here uh, and it's going to make a terrible mess <laughs> in one pass. I'll look at the colour of my hands. I'm, up, I'm absolutely covered in uh, in swarf and it came off hot as well and you wouldn't believe the mess. Let me just wipe my hands. All these iron shavings off myself. I've got them covered. What I'll do is I'll just uh, bring the camera back a little and then you can see the mess that's been left. Yeah. It really is. I mean, it's the amount of metal, little, because it doesn't come off in um, in nice curls or anything like that. It comes off in little hot chips. Um, and it's uh, let's pop that back. And it's. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Cast iron is nice to work with, but oh my word, is it messy! Right. So that is. Uh, I think that size done. Um, or I might just take a light, oh I don't know, I might just take a light pass actually. Now yeah, that looks nice. I'll just take that sharp edge off. <coughs> What we're going to do now, let me just uh, uh, move things back a little. There we go. So, what we've got to do now is just uh, clean all this lot off, turn the disc round, and start again. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see, uh, see how we go. out to the end, reprofile the tool, uh, reprofile, we'll, uh, we'll adjust its position and we'll come back and uh, clean off this one. <laughs>
how these things corrode. You know, but it, it, it's going to come up nice. <laughs> come back to this when uh, we're done. Right, there we are, I sat done. Uh, let me just grab the camera. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, a nice finish all round. Um, plenty of um, plenty of muck on the lathe. So what we'll do now is we'll get that lot cleaned up and uh, then I'll I'll actually mic that just to see uh, just see how thick it is and see how much we've actually taken off it. Um, didn't have to take too much off this side, but we've taken a fair bit off that side. Um, taken quite a bit, I think. So uh, right, well I get the lay cleaned up now and then okay. we can get back on. Um, we've got it off. Doesn't look too bad, really, does it? So all we're going to do now is just take it off the face plate, put the face plate one side so Okay. So there we go. Um, one shiny disc. Okay. The marks on it are from my grubby fingers now, because as you can hear, yeah, iron, iron makes your hands dirty. All right. So I did say we'd mic this up, didn't I? So I'll just get me my So what we're going to use. We're going to be uh, use my Warren Wright digital micrometer. Um, 0 to 1 inch, uh, it's electronic, um, and it's stupidly accurate, and it's amazingly old. This must have been, I mean, I was given this like a few months ago. I've got it plugged into the mains because the battery's gone flat. Uh, this must date back to, oh lord, I don't know. It must be one of the first digital micrometers. So, let's uh, give it a go. So it's zeroed there. So what have we got there? It is, thickness wise, 0 0.1853 of an inch. So there you go. It's one tenth, in fact no, it's one, it can't be one tenth, one hundredth. That must be nonsense. Let me just, uh, let me just zero it. Okay, there we go. It's point one eight four one eight four eight point one eight four eight right of an inch point one eight four eight well, it was four eight four nine it's because I'm jiffling about a bit here. Lord knows how old that is. It mu must date uh, back to what? Late 60s, early 70s, maybe mid 70s. Yeah, I've got no idea because there's no date on it. Um, I've no idea who got it from, but judging by the 1H number, it's uh, an X uh, MOD piece, um, which is why it's so accurate. It does have a tendency just to get its, get its knickers in a twist sometimes, doesn't it? There you go. 
185, 0.185, brilliant. So, there we go, that's that done. So, all I've got to do is uh, tie the place. Oh, and if you're wondering how much metal we got off, this is a 60 gram coffee tin. Yeah. And today we've managed just about to fill it up, if you look in there. Yeah. That's all the metal, not all of it, but that's about 90% of the metal we've taken off. The other 10% is uh, on the floor by the looks of it. Yeah. And that's why I cover the lathe up when I'm doing cast iron. I shall keep that because that will come in handy uh, when I'm doing other things. You know, get some aluminium shavings in there and uh, then you've got your own thermite then, haven't you? Then we can have fun with thermite. Marvellous. But that's for another day. So, put that to one side. There's the disc. So that can go, um, that can finish being cleaned off, get all the grease off it. And then I can use that for whatever I wanted, ever per. I'll try that again. Right, so there's the uh, there's the metal that I'm going to use um, sometime in the future. There's the disc now. It's nice and clean. Um, just needs degreasing on the inside, and then I can go and um, use that for my little uh, little upcycling project. So that's all from the workshop today, I think. So once again, um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.